In this video, we're talking smart Wi-Fi plug sockets. Hello and welcome to Switched On Network. I'm Paul FP. In this video, we're gonna be talking smart Wi-Fi plugs, just like this one here. Now, these are a great way to make your home that little bit smarter, and whatever you plug into them, you can control from an app on your phone, or even better, by using something like the Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. So if you've got a Google Home, you can say something like, okay, Google, turn the heater on, and the heater that you've got plugged into it will turn on. Or you could say, okay, Google, turn the lights on, and whatever light you've got plugged into it will turn on. Now, if you want to use the Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa to control the lights up in your ceiling, you can use one of these smart Wi-Fi LED light bulbs, and we've done a whole video about those as well. So if you click the eye just up there, you can see that. But for today, we're gonna to focus on this smart LED plug. So let's get it unboxed, set it up, and see what we think. So the model I've gone for here is the TP-Link HS100, and there are links in the video description below if you want to buy one for yourself. The advantage of using uh, this particular model is that it doesn't require any separate hub on your home network in order to connect to, to act as a bridge between the device and your Wi-Fi. Some other models from some other manufacturers require a separate hub, which is another thing to set up and another thing to buy. So that's a great advantage there. And this boasts all the uh, things you'd expect from a smart Wi-Fi device. It's got remote access, scheduling, and it boasts very easy setup. Apparently step one is download the TP-Link CASA app. Step two is plug it in, and step three is configure the app. And I'm imagining that'll be step four, set it up with the Google Assistant, which is what I'm gonna do. So let's get this thing opened. And here's the plug there. Obviously it's the UK version, because I'm in the UK. There we are. Nice and small, nice and discreet. So we'll go and test this out. Start by switching off your wall socket and removing the appliance that's plugged into it. Then plug in your smart plug, and then plug the appliance back into the smart plug. For TP-Link smart devices, the app is called CASA with a K, so open up the Google Play Store and search for the app and then install it. The first time you open the app, you'll be prompted to log in or create an account if you've not got one yet, so quickly sign up for an account. You'll be emailed a link to verify your email address, so click that to proceed and then allow the app to access your device's location. Now that the app is set up, you'll be presented with an empty screen listing all your TP-Link smart devices. Click the plus sign in the top corner and select the type of device you're adding, in this case a smart plug. The first thing it asks you to do is switch the smart plug on and wait for the Wi-Fi light to turn solid amber. After about 15 seconds, the light should start flashing amber and green, like this. Press next and the app will search for and find your plug, so make sure you're stood right next to it. When it's found and connected to it, you can give it a friendly name so you can keep track of it. This one's going to control the electric heater in the fireplace in my lounge. After choosing an icon for the device, the next step is to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. These models only work on 2.4 GHz networks, by the way. Enter your Wi-Fi password and then press Next to connect, and you'll more than likely be told you need to update the firmware on your device, so let it do that, and then you're done. The device will appear in your list of devices from where you can turn it on and off and do things like set a schedule or use the away mode. For devices like lights and TVs, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video in the next few weeks about setting a schedule for when you go away on holiday, so subscribe to the channel to see that when it's published. Now that it's all working, let's have some fun and connect it to the Google Assistant so that we can control the fireplace by voice via the Google Home Mini that I've got wall-mounted nearby in my kitchen. So, open up the Google Home app, and from the settings menu in the top left, go to Home Control. Under Devices, press the blue plus icon in the bottom right, and then from the list of supported manufacturers, scroll down until you see TP-Link CASA. Clicking that will open a web browser and prompt you to log into your CASA account and authorize the connection between that and your Google account. Type in your username and password, click Authorize, and then the Google Home app will connect behind the scenes to your CASA account and retrieve your devices. You should see a prompt saying that there's a device not yet assigned to a room, so then click Assign Rooms Now and choose which room the device is in, in this case, Living Room. Then press Done, and in your list of devices, under the TP-Link CASA section, you'll see your device. If you want, you can give it its own nickname within Google Home, but that's not strictly necessary, especially if you're going to be calling it the same thing here. With that all set up, I can now use voice commands to turn my fireplace on and off like this. Hey Google, turn the heater on in the living room. Hey, turn off the heater in the living room. 
So there we are, I hope you found that video helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Switched On Network if you haven't done already to get all of our videos as soon as they go live straight to your inbox. Click the logo that's just here to do that. And once you've subscribed, why don't you watch our video on how to wall mount a Google Home Mini. If you've got one and you haven't already done that, click the video that's just up there for that one. Or if you want to watch our unboxing and review of the smart Wi-Fi LED light bulb, why don't you click the video just there to watch that one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.